I'm so grateful, and I've, as a student, learned so much and feel just overflowing um, with these teachings. And I hope you do as well. And I think it's just perfect that we're going to close this, um, this week together and, and enter this new year with the Yoga Nidra. Um, I usually ask if people haven't ever practiced before, but because there are so many of us, I'm just going to um, imagine that there are some people here that have not practiced Yoga Nidra before. And even if you have practiced Yoga Nidra many times, you might not have done this particular offering. And I usually channel through my Yoga Nidra, so I'm not really sure exactly what um, is going to come out for our, our practice tonight, but it, it will be just perfect for what we need in creating this mandala. If you have not practiced Yoga Nidra before, this is traditionally done as a lying down meditation, like you would be in Shavasana. So because we're going to be lying down for a, around 45 minutes, and that lengthy time is because we need to get into the possibility of going into delta sleep, our brain waves getting that slow. The guided meditation will help us hopefully get there. So uh, with that said, you need to make sure you have a lot of padding. And you could, since we're, we have the luxury of being at home, we can, you could be on your bed, but you want to make sure it's uh, a hard enough mattress that you could lie on your back. And there are always sometimes people that have issues with um, lying on the back, so then you could, of course, you know, lie on your right side to keep your heart exposed, and then if that's not happening, you know, anything goes. You can even do yoga nidra in a chair, but then it becomes much more like if you're sitting and doing this practice, it's a guided meditation. Yoga nidra is, means, so nidra means to sleep, the Sanskrit word for sleep, and yoga, of course, we know yoga. Um, enlightened sleep, to sleep with awareness, to enter a state of union with all that is, to move into the clear light, to move into the clear light of the void, to experience our blissful nature, to, um, to, to sleep immersed in love, enveloped in love, our true nature. And so that's what we're going to do. So we want to, I'd like you to um, make sure that you have enough pillows and you can put uh, rolls under your knees, that you'll have a blanket to be warm enough if the room is cool or turn up your heat a little bit or get by the fire. Um, it's okay if there is noise around because we're going to incorporate that all into this. And so take a moment to get ready, and I'm going to look at you in the screen here. And if you have any questions while we're getting ready, oh, Dolores, it's so great to see you. Hi. And some of you I've practiced Yoga Nidra with before, like her, and so really wonderful to have you here. If you have any questions about it, anything with your health that you need to connect with, please write in the chat. Also, I'm going to have... Yeah, it's okay to use a wedge pillow. It is. Um, one thing that's not okay is to put a sandbag type eye pillow over your eyes because it's too much weight for the 45 minute time period. So if you're going to cover your eyes, make sure that it's something very soft, just like a scarf or something quite light. The head should be elevated slightly, not too high. So um, depending on the person's neck, and you know, a wedge pillow can work. If the chin uh, is higher than the forehead, then this starts to cut the prana shakti off from going up into the crown. So, and then you can also start to going into snoring and it's, you're out of uh, as much of a parasympathetic response that we want. So have your chin a little bit lower than the forehead. And nothing too heavy on the eyes. Get yourself very comfortable. And what else? Okay. Another thing that I'll um, say is sometimes the very first yoga nidra is, is um, you know, you can actually have a quite, quite a deep experience. And so I'd like you, you know, if you do start to drift off into, um, you know, into sleep with awareness and you experience sort of the, that, um, you know, dropping off of the, you know, into the, into the quantum foam, 
um, there can be a moment when the mind pops up and if there is a noticing of that, you've, you've gone off into that um, and, and you want to ground yourself again, just take some time now to maybe think of an image or a place or some place in your body, maybe your heart center or your feet, some place that feels like home and you can come back to if you need to anytime. Um, another thing is that people will tend to fall asleep in yoga nidra and it, it, it is sleep but it's also sleep with awareness that we're looking for so there's going to be a part of you because it's a guided meditation that stays awake and aware but if you're very tired you've had a had a long day and you're you're you think that you might fall asleep, a very good practice to do is once you get lying down, just bend one of your arms. And then the arm will float a little bit. Side, you know, just as you start to fall asleep, the hand might move a little bit and that will wake you up. Okay? So that can be one of the things to do. All right. And now we get ready for yoga nidra. Oh, and the other thing I'd like you to do is think of a sankalpa. And this is a high spiritually guided intention. Of course, so in the new year, we're always thinking about things with the deep lens of contemplation of the past year and then what we want to bring in. Really look deeply into your heart Think about why you're here and what you're wanting to bring into your life, what your dharma is, and how best this practice could serve you. So you formulate a heartfelt intention related to your self-transformative practice. And once you have that, phrase it in a sentence that starts with, I will, I can, I am, I must, followed by your statement. And then set that aside, and we're going to start to relax. So lying down in your nidra bed that you've created, make some last movements and get very comfortable and begin to relax. The body is becoming more and more relaxed, and you're preparing for this enlightened sleep meditation we call yoga nidra. And then take a deep breath in and breathe and open. Expand your body, expand all the cells. And then a deep exhale and relax. Relax your whole body. Breathe in and open. Become comfortable. Breathe out and surrender and trust that the ground is holding you. Now we're creating a mandala together. A place where your essence is protected. This protective circle of Menla, the Medicine Buddha Mandala, healing mandala where you can safely beautifully tap into your original nature your buddha nature the mind of love and so trust that here as you lie down you are completely protected and if you'd like, you can even bring in 
your particular deities or spiritual guides in the space with you. And set an intention now to give this practice your full attention to transform, to heal, and set an intention to awaken, to abide in perfect wisdom, to abide in perfect compassion beyond space and time. And notice your inhale breath again. Breathe in and open. And with your exhale, fall into the support of the ground beneath you and its immeasurable compassion, immeasurable love, embracing you, immeasurable joy. And the buddhi within you that creates equanimity, immeasurable equanimity. You're supported more and more by the ground. The more you relax, the more you let go, the more you are supported. The more there is freedom. Now decide that you'll also remain relaxed, but also there'll be a part of you that's listening. Your pure awareness, aware of my voice, following these instructions. And you make a commitment to yourself that you'll undertake this practice to the best of your abilities. You'll stay awake and aware. And now start to also listen to the sounds of the space around you, the sounds in the room with you. Listen to anything that's there with you. And begin to travel out beyond the room to the rest of the building or outside. As far as you can go, cast your sense of hearing. Distant sound. Now gradually bring your attention to closer sounds. And then moving your Awareness of sound inside of your body and listen to any sounds inside of you. And without opening your eyes, begin to visualize the room that you're in, the walls and the ceiling the floor. And witness your body lying on the floor or lying on your bed, wherever it's lying, supported and relaxed. You're aware of the existence of your physical body lying supported in perfect stillness. And 
The body is lying still. You become aware of your breath. Rising and falling of the breath shaping the body. Now notice all the physical meeting points of your body and the support beneath you. Feel the contact, the vibration, the essence. The union of your body uh, melting into the support. And feel this earth element, the earth element in your body, your bones, your muscles, connecting with the earth beneath you. And as you're witnessing your body, become aware that you're witnessing as a timeless presence or a timeless essence. And you're not the doer, you're not the body. And then you witness your breath, this air flow, the element of air at the nostrils. Feel the temperature in your nostrils. the hot or the cool, fire and water and air. And now notice the breath shaping around your belly, around your navel. And the chest is almost still, but there's a soft rising and falling. And you are not the breather. Your body is breathing effortlessly. Become aware that you are the timeless presence in which breathing is rising and falling in. Everything that's arising, everything that's being witnessed is a pointer to your original nature. So you're open, like the sky. And you're relaxing more and more deeply. All parts of your body. And as you're relaxing, feel that you can enter into pure vibration, the vibration of love that dissolves boundaries and dualities. And that you could enter a feeling of unity with all that is, with this ground, with the sky. And you could break free into your innermost being And you come into your heart and you 
feel the freedom in your heart. And there you stay to your sankalpa, your intention, free from any doubt, feeling it in your body as if it's already here. State it three times. I can, I will, I must. The joy of feeling it, experiencing it, affirming it, this truth with your entire mind and body and heart. Feel and sense this energy of your intention, with full conviction. Now, please pilgrimage with me, with your awareness to these various parts of your body as they're mentioned. Travel to your right thumb and feel and sense the thumb and the index finger, right middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Sense your right palm, the back of the hand, wrist, and your lower right arm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder. Since your right armpit, right waist, the hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, and heel. Sense the sole of your right foot, the top of the foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. Now sense your left thumb. Feel and sense your index finger. Middle, ring, and little finger. Please sense your left palm. Back of the hand. Wrist, lower arm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left waist, hip, thigh, knee, sense and feel your calf, ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the foot, Big toe, second, third, fourth toe, 
and little toe. Now sense the top of your head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, the space between your brows, right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, sense the nose, the tip of the nose, upper lip, lower lip, chin, throat. Sense your entire face. Sense and feel your entire face. Sense the top of the head. the top of your head, relaxed, and the back of the head and neck is relaxed. The back of your head and neck is relaxed. And sense and feel your entire head and then your shoulders, the top of your shoulders. The shoulders relaxed. And sense the right side of your chest, the left side of your chest, the center of the chest. Sense and feel the middle of your chest and into your stomach and the whole abdomen relaxed and your navel. And now sense your entire right leg and your entire left leg. And both legs together. Sense and feel both legs. And your entire right arm Our left arm. I sense both arms together. And sense the entire back of your body from head to toe, the entire back of your body relaxed. And then the entire front of your body. From top to toe, the entire front of your body and then the back and the front together. And you can sense the entire body from top to toe. And you're aware and you're mindful and you can sense the flow of your breath as it enters and leaves your nose. And you're not altering your breath, you're witnessing this natural, amazing occurrence of breathing. And then sense your chest rising and falling in rhythm. And then you're going to start counting your breath, watching your chest subtly 
very softly rising around your heart. We'll count from 27 to 1. And so you say mentally to yourself, 27, chest rising. And 26, chest falling. 25, chest rising. 24, chest falling. And you just keep counting your breath like that. Staying awake and aware. And if you lose count, just start again at 27. And then just count your breaths. Now stop counting your breaths and sense your entire body being deeply relaxed. And stay awake and aware. But sense that your legs have become heavier and heavier. Your legs are getting heavier. And your whole body is getting heavier. And there's a deep sense of ease and you can pay attention to your feelings. And your feelings are calm and your emotions are calm and relaxed. And your mind is calm and relaxed. Your body and mind feel deeply relaxed. And now you'll visualize and feel or sense, if you can't visualize, just name the following images. Try to see or sense in some way the following images. So you see lush green trees in a dense forest. Lush green trees in a dense forest. A field of sparkling snow. A field of sparkling snow. A dark lit sky with bright stars from above. A dark lit sky with bright stars from above. Beams of light through tree branches. You witness beams of light through tree branches. A left side crescent moon. You see a left side crescent moon. Now 
I witness sunlight coming through a prism. Some bright sunlight coming through a prism. Witness the planet Earth from outer space. The planet Earth from outer space. Witness a small house in the countryside. A small house in the countryside. A lit candle on a table. A lit candle on a table. Witnessing a single still candle flame. Still single candle flame. A light in your third eye center. Like the candle flame or even a star. Witness a point of light or sense and feel in some way. It's your third eye center. In your throat center, witness light. Point of light, star. Your heart center, witness the star. Witness the star in your navel center. Witness the star behind the pubic bone, the top of the sacrum. Just witness starlight coming out of your fingertips and at your toes. Witness stars throughout your body and space between the stars. Dark space, enter it. Witness the body as a great constellation lit by points of light and stars. The stars are within you The stars are in the sky above, and you are vast space. Float in spacious awareness as you sleep in the cave of your heart. In the silence we'll meditate, the breath has become a silent whisper. Meditate in the silence of your vastness. And deeply rest in the abode of your heart in perfect stillness.
Be aware of the sleep state in the heart, and the movement of the breath. your cosmic self and perfect whole oneness and peace. To sleep in the heart is to enter a clear light. to melt into your original nature. From your heart, once more, since the body is relaxed, deeply relaxed, and you'll mentally say to yourself your sankalpa, your intention. You can state it three times with deep conviction and great optimism. And then with your eyes still closed, become aware of your body lying on this surface that you're on. And become aware of your breathing. Sense the flow, it's softly beginning to deepen. And still keeping your eyes closed, become aware of your surroundings. Listen to the sounds around you. All these sounds, pointers. And then keeping your eyes closed, just lie quietly. Preparing to return to ordinary consciousness.
and then gently and slowly begin to move one finger at a time. There's no rush in your toes, a little gentle, slow movement in your toes. And you can roll your wrists and your ankles. You can even turn your head a little bit from side to side, and back to center. And then you notice the flow of breath in your nostrils. And this is called the swara, the flow. And sometimes there will be an equal flow. And then when you bend your knees to roll to your side, you can roll to either side, maybe your right side. But if you feel the breath more dominant in the left nostril, on the left channel, then you're going to roll into that side and let your head rest on the left arm. And if your right nostril is receiving more flow, then you'll roll to your right side and you'll let your head rest. And we'll lie on our side with our head pressing on the upper arm for just a little while, relaxing. And there's no hurry, but if you're ready to come to a seat, you're welcome to please uh, come up and we'll close this practice together and this, this uh, course of welcoming and envisioning the beautiful oh, um, perfection of Menla and the mandala and uh, Tanaduk Garden and ourselves in it together in this great year and our beautiful intentions energized and brought forth. And so take your time and if you'd like to, um, if you do come up and you wanna turn on your camera, it's nice to see you and if you feel like having your quiet time it's fine too. I'm going to close with a little chant. And so take your time. And when you do get back up, I'd like you to, you know, one a really beautiful thing is to just sit and contemplate what that was like. And even, even contemplating like things that, you know, maybe were irritating or sore, sometimes parts of the body when they're receiving energy might feel more discomfort. So those things you can write down or be aware of, but just take on sitting, take on the ease of sitting in your center straight again upright and kind of moving this practice that we've just experienced together into the greater context of our lives and all these teachings into taking it into the greater context of our lives into each moment this wisdom we don't even have to try to remember because because they're there the seeds have been planted and we'll keep nurturing them together with our practice and meditation, through our asana, with our devotion, and through our chanting and uh, our connection. Okay, so bring your hands together to your heart. If you're upright, if you're lying down still, let us, let us chant to you. Swasti prajapya, 
paripalayantam nayena mardgena mahi mahim shaha go brahmane bya shubhamastunityam loka samastra sukino bhavantu loka samastra sukino bhavantu loka samastra sukino bhavantu loka samastra sukino bhavantu may all beings in all the worlds be, be happy and free and by this virtue this merit of our practice together may we be quickly uh, achieving a state of guru buddha and then help lead every being without exception to that very state may all beings find happiness and joy may they practice the dharma day and night may we practice the dharma day and night and may our own and others aims our great son kalpas be spontaneously accomplished and thank you so much for practicing and um, that's a uh, yoga nidra sleeping with awareness and uh, it was interesting because um, all the sounds and uh, everything that arises within our practice is part of our mandala and uh, i'm not sure really what was if you guys could hear it on your end but we had there were a lot of bells and whistles happening in the uh, in the meeting on my end so i think maybe when people were coming and going but i'm not sure if you could hear it or if it was disturbing you hopefully you were in a meditative sleep so it's a tradition when i do these to um, hear from people afterwards what their practice was like but um, so if you want to stay stick around you can i've also put my email in the chat and you're welcome to write in the chat as well. I'll make a copy of the chat for myself and I can always get back to you. Uh, or send me an email and let me know how your practice was. I'd like to continue to connect with you. And I just hope you have the most blessed year. And so we'll officially close with that dedication of the merit. And so much love to you, so many blessings, and happiest new year from everybody at Menla. Um, just all the love to you. And uh, may we swiftly go to our enlightenment. Thank you. Happy New Year. And with that said, if anybody wants to connect, namaste. Yeah. Oh, I cannot turn on my camera. Oh, you guys didn't have sounds. Cool. Um, let's see. Is the <coughs> cameras, can they come back on now? Well, I do have... Uh... It enabled that they should be able to start their cameras. Okay, so maybe now. Oh yeah, they can start starting their cameras. Let's and see some um, people have turned their cameras on. Sweet. So I'm happy that. I wonder what those sounds were coming in. It felt like um, for me, um, Eli. It felt like, or it sounded like, um, like, like people zooming in and out. You know, it would be ding like, but it wasn't a normal computer sound. It was like a zoom sound. So I'm glad that people. Did you hear it on your end? Well, I, I had um, turned on the noise when somebody enters the room. Oh, I'm yeah. surprised so you were you able hear. to hear that because I had my microphone right. turned off. Right. I think it was because my mic's on so that I can hear people talking. It's over there. So mine was on. So when they were entering and leaving, I could hear it. So I'm, I'm so happy if people couldn't hear that because I was just like, oh, no, well, I'm just going to keep going. And we're, mm -hmm. we're going deep. And, and uh, anyway... So, um, yeah, Maya says it still, still says you cannot start your video because the host has stopped it. Yeah, um, I'm unsure why it's still doing that. I'm going to ask to start video on some people. Yeah, they can't turn on their camera. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad things were smooth. So you can, can they turn on their mics? Maybe I can at least hear them. Oh, good. Paula was floating in space. <laughs> yeah good yes floating in space is what we do and uh 
Ram Ram, yes, Maya. <laughs> Jai Ram. Floating in space. Welcome, light. Yeah, please email me, Karuna. Great. Yeah, there can be. A... It was super smooth, Michelle. Thank you. Oh, great. How is your, Justin, how is your yoga nidra? Did you stay awake? Oh, it, it was way too deep. I, it was wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed the um, light nidra, um, the first going through the um, different types of light and then being different part types of light. I had some yeah. really intense body memories of hang gliding as a child. So thank you. Yeah, that was the first time I've ever done that, actually. So I'm always curious to hear how things go. Um, I have to, I'll have to go back and do this myself, like listen to it, which is, you know, if you, if you do yoga nidra at home, you, you can just guide yourself into the yoga nidra. You can place the points of light as you like. But this kind of visualizing yoga nidra, where you do, we go around and relax the body really deeply, and then their images flash like that. That's, um, it's, I, I really often have quite a deep nidra from them. And this one where we went, from like light up above and a lot of kind of luminous lights to then the sunlight in the prism, which was much brighter. It, to me, I started to feel like we could kind of sense those kinds of lights that we will experience in the bardo or we have many times experienced in the bardo. Yeah, so, it was another angle into that, thank you. Right, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad that, that that worked for you, and then the thing is, is that what what I wanted to add on to, so that we could try to go into clear light sleep, was more of the stars in the body, and uh, the space between. But that was a little bit, you know, it's it's always like, it's like sometimes that's better on its own. So you know, we'll have to go back and see it. But I'm glad it worked for you, and. Uh, we can always, one thing about the Zoom nidras that's a little harder for me is to have a long period of quiet because I feel like sometimes people jump out because they can't sense that I'm here with them. But to really go in to enter clear light sleep, we need a little more, we were at the right time, but, um, but we sometimes need more silence. You know, so um, that, if someone goes into that feeling of spaciousness, and uh, you know, vastness or like star, like they are the stars. You know, then that can be where they're entering that. But um, yeah, floating in space is great, and that's that's really um, where it is. Oh, and Dale uh, McGrath, I don't know if you're here, still here, but when you when you when you can hear me, but you're somewhere else, that is that's like you're going into that. Um, lucidity and but but it's also like you're in the clear night light sleep you're in sleep with awareness so the body is asleep and uh you know you're still there's still awareness of this but you're you're in your vastness and uh right yeah dolores i am gonna have i'm gonna do Dolores took one of my Nidra teacher trainings and I'm going to do another one online coming up and I'm going to do, um, I want to do a Vajra Yoga weekend as well. And the body does dissolve as we go into the stars and the constellations. Yeah, um, Renee, that's where we come from, right? We are stars. We are clear light. Really good. <laughs> and lucid in the visualizations. Um, could you use light gong or bowls during the silence? Um, it's interesting because there's controversy about that. Like traditional yoga nidras don't use sound, but like these days, everybody kind of like they shift away from lineage and they try everything. And, you know, I'm always kind of like, sometimes it works, you know, sometimes it can work really well. Um, like I just think about Jai Div's amazing you know, gong and like that sound that's going on. And like in traditional nidras, when we're in a room with people, we keep it very quiet so you can be into the clear light sleep because it's, because you want, you don't want to, the sound can, the sound takes you, can take you really distant, but it can also keep you kind of too, too grounded in here. So what I've found when I've played, um, we have, like there was a period at my studio where there was 
we were we had so many demand so much demand for um, the Nidra class and another class that was happening simultaneously in the other room, and so sometimes you could hear a little bit. So we tried to play with like playing sound, all kinds of beautiful drone, not language, but different types and singing bowls and bells. And the students didn't like it. They reported that it kept them from going into that vastness or to the into kind of the you know the clear light of the void experience that a lot of my students have. So, so they didn't, it was very relaxing, like nidras with music are, or, or gongs are very, very deep and relaxing, but it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily take you into that kind of quantum um, experience. So, you know, I, I haven't done it, but I think when, since now we're more often with the camera, this is the issue is that um, a lot of times when I go into too long of silence, my students will jump out, you know, they'll wake up and wonder where I am or if, if we've gone away. So I do think it's something I should play with and in the, getting the sound just right. Um, sound also doesn't translate well through the zooms, those two, but so if you're doing a pre-recorded one, like how Jaidev was doing his sound work and everything's coming in with a beautiful um, production, but over Zoom, I don't think it would work well. But anyway, we're playing with it, experimenting, and uh, we're going to keep going. And I love the suggestions. Um, uh, hey, Michelle. Yeah. One of those time options to go? Uh, with the screen share is that you can share your own audio. You know about that? And so if you um, want, if you're playing off of your computer, you could screen share and then also share your own audio. Oh, really? Yeah, and then it comes through very well with that. That's so cool. You and I are going to have to, pl I'll, I'll hire you for a little side work for me, okay? Right. Sound good? <laughs> when, you have, when you recover from this week and you want to get some work in again. Yeah, um, so need a good neck massage and I'll be all right. Yeah, cool. All right, and then Sandra, I want to see what she said here. She said, first time I practice this, I'm so relaxed. I'm not sure I can go back to Monday. You will probably, Sandra, feel more energized tomorrow because this is such a deep recovery. Um, you will be able to get ready for work, I promise you. But yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, a very experience. Ooh, so Glenn, I like that you were playing. Glenn, um, would you share your, your play with, playlist with me? I would love to have your, like, to know what you're doing and then experience it, practice it to your playlist. I think that's another thing. Um, and then Phoebe, you know, when you don't remember much and you wake up like you feel like no time had passed, well, then you're going into the delta stage so the brain waves we start you know we're in beta right now when we're thinking and talking and then we slow down into relaxing like this is another issue with the music is that they connect the music as taking you into alpha waves like when we're listening to beautiful music we can go into the slow down alpha but we don't maybe necessarily maybe we fall into theta which is where the dream happens and rem and that's where you get a lot of visuals popping up like random visuals and things will kind of come up or lucid type dreaming, and then you go into the, the to the delta, which is like super, you know, no, like really, really fast experience of yoga nidra. Um, you might have even heard my voice, and it, but it felt like you know there was no time at all, and then all of a sudden you wake up, but you were very deep. Likely you you fell into delta. Um, so it's it's interesting to kind of look at what's happening with the brain as well. Um, yeah, and it is difficult to put this into words, Gregory, because it's um, it's it, we're entering the uh, you know the inconceivable space, the inconceivable space of liberation and freedom and clear light. So there's hard it's, it's hard to put it into words. So I think that's perfect. And. Um, for Sasha, if, I don't know if you're still here, but it, is it or can it be similar to lucid dreaming? Well, this is, so I am not the expert on lucid dreaming, but my theory is yes, but there is a workshop coming up with um, a yoga nidra teacher at Menla, um, Dr. Nick Atlas, and his nidras are very different than what I do, but he, is, he looks at and, and works with lucid dreaming. So I think, um, that and then also um, working with um, the wonderful, I can't think of his name. He was part of... Um, Andrew Holchek? 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was just like, I, I'm, I'm part of the nightclub and I couldn't think of Andrew Holacek's name. But yeah, so, you know, this is the thing where I, I feel like the more I work with Andrew Holacek and then I, my own experiences of Yoga Nidra, like I know the Tibetans when they look, you know, the lucid dreaming and the Tibetan sleep yogas, dream yogas, they'll say, oh, they're different than this. But to me, when, if you can guide someone the right way through the brain, brain waves and then they enter that sleep, it's the same thing. It's like a short version of what happens in a long night's sleep if you're going into lucidity. So the more I practice yoga nidra meditation, the more then I have um, my dreams. I'm able to have very lucid dreams now. And I think this practice has helped the other and now they're really kind of merging. So. You know, I would just say keep looking into study with them and probably if you take a like I do yoga nidra teacher trainings, but if you do one with me, I think two or three years from now, it's probably going to look even different because I'm sure I'll be combining much more working with the Tibetan sleep yogas and, and, and lucid dreaming as well. But right now, look to those guys for that. And um, <laughs> yeah, when you can hear your snores and it sounds like someone else, that's, you know, sleep with awareness. Your body was sleeping and your body is, you know, your body is completely asleep and it's dreaming and it's snoring and you're, you're checking that out and it's really interesting. Um, yeah, and when you go into delta and you feel in space and separated from the physical body, yeah, I repeated the word love, 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 and so I relaxed again. So that's one of the reasons that I said to have like something, like there was a mantra, your mantra was love, or, the, or then it's like a, you can go to your heart or your feet or something to bring you back because once you go into that delta and you go maybe off more into clear light and then you lose track of, because there's no... Like the mind, once you're in that and there's awareness of it, you just you don't understand like you know there's a moment if mind enters where it will panic and so that's when it's good to be able to come back to something like that to a mantra um, but eventually you get used to it and you just are you're okay as what Chogyam Trumpa Rinpoche said you know it's like falling out of an airplane um, you know with without a without a parachute <laughs> But the good news is there's no ground to land on. And that's like it. And that's, that's a great way to describe, you know, yoga nidra as you, as you move into that. Okay. All right. Well, um, oh, awesome, Glenn. I've got the Spotify now. I've got his playlist. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Um, all right. Glenn, I might see you tomorrow in Vajra Yoga. And... Uh, and yeah, MBJMD, MD Brain at Comcast Net. I, I'm trying to. I'm not sure who your name, what your name is, but apparently I missed a lot because I fell asleep. I always call this like really expensive yoga nidra practice. Like if you're paying for a workshop, you know, you're paying for as you did this session um, was lost to the complete sleep. So then I would say is if you do it next time, uh, you know, every time if you're if you have two or three where you just don't remember a thing, you were passed out. Yeah, it's a lovely nap. Body's relaxed. However, um, that's just nidra. So now we're trying to bring in yoga nidra. And that's when I would say after two or three times like that, then try bending your arm. Or you could try it next time. Sometimes people with the bent arm, they'll, they'll have quite amazing expansive experiences with and sleep with awareness um, with the arm bent like that. So That'd be my recommendation. Why I say two or three times is sometimes people try then too hard to stay awake. Um, and if you, it, it's like, don't make the guitar string too tight. Don't make it too loose. You know, you've got to be able to allow yourself to kind of fall asleep, but still try to stay awake and aware. So that's why we say often stay awake and aware as you go. Okay. Um. Right. Yeah, Rebecca, we'll let you know more about Yoga Nidra. And yeah, okay. That's great. Send me an email, stay in touch, and lots of love to you all. 
And the rest of the people, I think we just couldn't get the cameras on, but, or they could be asleep. Oh, there's some cameras. There's Maya. Now I see you guys. There's Maya. And hi, Christy. And hello. This is good. Namshava, are you, what's your name? Can you, is your first name, tell me. We talked yesterday. Can you unmute? Oh, I can't hear you. I don't know why. You're unmuted, but no sound coming through. Well, that's okay. There's Chris. If you figure it out, tell me. And there she is, Dell and Sandra and Lawrence and Phoebe. Some people popping in. And maybe the rest are asleep. <laughs> how, is your, how is the week, everybody? Was it good? Those of you can see? Yes. 2021. Well, I hate to like end this one because I could stay here forever and just keep practicing every day. I just want to, I want to have like nonstop sadhana practice with, uh, with all these teachers that were here. So, but I think we'll, we will come together again and hopefully at some point, you know, maybe even next year we can, some of us can be at Menla Physical together. I'm here by myself. I don't think anybody is on the main premises of Menla. There's some of the staff in the houses around, kind of off in the distance, but it snowed a lot this afternoon or this evening, and uh, I'm a little bit like, wow, it's, it's very quiet and, and uh, cold and beautiful, that snow light, the sparkly snow is, is really here. I hope you can come be with uh, with us sometime soon here. Okay, so namaste everybody, so much love to you.